And so I'm here with Vanessa who joined uh, School of Love's Inner Circle. We started in October. Yeah. Yes, October, 2021. So we're now just over five months in, mm -hmm. about the five month mark. Um, well, Vanessa has a beautiful story and she's generously offered to share it with, with you all. So I'm really excited. Can you tell us a little, Vanessa, like what was it that inspired you to actually join School of, School of Love? Like what kind of, what was the pull for you? Um, well, for me, I was single for about eight years. Yeah. Uh, um, and I felt like I was stuck in my love life. I felt like nothing was flowing anymore. I had a very strong vision of what I wanted in my life, but yeah. my experiences were not aligning at all into that experience. So I felt like I wasn't meeting aligned partners. Uh, the, like the dates that I had, it wasn't aligning. It didn't feel right. And it would just end up being maybe like two or three weeks talking. And then it would always end up being the same thing over and over again. So it would feel like I was, I was basically in a rut and nothing was growing anymore. Yeah. And um, at one point I tried so many things. Like I'm very into like self-help. I do a lot of like, I've done a lot of like therapy work, meditation, and it just felt like at some point, like I was running out of like, what do I do now? You know, and actually I, I have, I've been following you for a while. And so I've been following your, your, what your teachings. And actually it's my mom that kind of like gave me the boost too. She was like, my love, she's like, you've been in a rut for eight years. She's like, just give yourself, like have the courage to just jump into this journey. And, and I actually did. And it's been just wonderful experience and I'm so grateful <laughs> I'm so grateful to have you I'm so grateful to have you it's like I really mean it when I say like school of love okay yes there's I'm guiding it and there's like beautiful frameworks and all that but at the end of the day it also is so beautiful because of the women who join it yeah right? it's a great group what kind of hesitations because I know you know it's an investment, it's an investment of time, it's an investment of money, there's investment of energy, there's a leap of faith that's required. What were some of the hesitations that you had and how did you kind of like, was there something that helped you overcome them? You kind of answered that like your mom gave you that boost. Was there anything else? Um, well, for me, I think we had spoken, I think back in January, 2021, uh, mm -hmm. for me, so I had two hesitations. The first one being six months. So for me, yeah. I've actually always done therapy, but therapy, I've never had like a commitment to a therapist. It was always like, when mm -hmm. I'm free, I'll see you one time, one time, whenever I want. I never had like that commitment of like six months. And for me, that six months was like, I don't even know if I could do the six months, you know, of like being like, yeah. Yeah, making sure I'm there every like lunchtime, yeah. uh, making sure that, you know, Voxer, I felt overwhelmed by the thought of Voxer. And ironically, I think I'm like, I feel like I'm one of the ones that it's the most there. So I'm like the most committed in the end. So it's kind of funny that fear is actually behind it is because I have a very strong will for it. But in the beginning, that would, that was scaring me. And also the monetary aspect yeah. was scaring me. Yeah, I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to afford it. Yeah. Um, actually you were really kind to kind of support me and all that and having a payment yeah. fund too. yeah I feel I'm a strong believer that the universe always has your back and I'm and I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to do it and ironically everything is kind of working out super well it's like every like you figure it out you know when you have something that's so aligned for you like mm -hmm. I just feel like things work out in your favor and it just it just works out so those are yeah. my hesitations and, yeah yeah and I love sharing about that because they're real like I know as well when I'm going into a program or something like there's hesitation there's fear and on the other side of that fear there's also like excitement and it feels aligned and it's like do I have the courage to follow that or the fear right like the vision or the fear I don't know if you can recall like on day one I asked you all to kind of set an intention for what you wanted to experience or get out of six months if you remember it, do you want to share what your intention was? Yes. Well, for me, I really wanted to find a partner um, that I could have a very strong love for. Like we could have very deep, intimate moments. Like I wanted to go deep within myself and go deep within my partner too. Feeling like he's a very warm person. Uh, feeling like he could fully accept me. Feeling like we could grow together. So I wanted to have a, a relationship where we could actually build, where I could feel like we're building right now and I wanted to feel good like I wanted yeah. I think I said it so many times I just want to feel good I really want to feel good in this partnership mm -hmm. so yeah that was, that was my strong intention yeah and a lot happened to support that intention right so really shortly after you joined I think it was 
two or three weeks after you joined? Was it something like that? About a month. A month. Okay. Beautiful. So you want to tell us what happened about a month in? <laughs> well, I think within a month in, we tackled a lot of the, the, the things that would keep me stuck, I think, in the last few years. Like, I think I saw it very clearly. And it was just about making, having strong boundaries and really following what my heart really wanted, you know? So I feel like I, I was going on a few dates and right away, you guys are helping me notice like, okay, make the choices. What do you want? What do you want? And I feel like I was becoming so faithful towards myself of like what I believing what I really wanted. And I feel like those little leaps of faith, even if they were very small, yeah. made a big difference. And yeah. one morning I actually ended up going spontaneously. I changed my route, my coffee route in the morning. I always go have coffee and I bumped into my boyfriend, Massimo. So right away when I met him, I mean, I've known him for a while. I've known him since 2014 we would see each other we had common friends we would see each other and where, where I go for coffee usually he changed uh his place where he goes for coffee and I hadn't seen him in a few years and that morning I ended up going to this coffee shop and I saw him and right away I just felt like we were vibrating at the same frequency we were just the conversation was so aligned and I just I just had like this really deep knowing that I'm like okay this this, this guy is really special and we were really following each other on Instagram for a few years. So right after our coffee, I messaged him and I said, it was just so nice to see you. And right away he responded the same way too. I felt like it was that mutual mm -hmm. attraction. And it was just, I don't know, it was very different from anybody that I met in the last uh, yeah. eight years. <laughs> listening to you describe that too, like I just got goosebumps all down the back of my neck because it's, it's, like I, I'm, I really try to be careful not to sell dreams because everyone's timing and journey is so different, right? But for anybody watching, like, I just want you to hear it was like eight years of feeling stuck. And then with that claiming, you know, when you join a program like this and it is an investment in all the ways, it's like this, this you're like, you're making a declaration, mm -hmm. right? That you're, you're ready to move forward. Yeah. And for you, things transpired really quickly. Everyone's timeline will be different. But the reason I'm highlighting this too is because we have a woman who joined the round that's starting in May. And she asked me, you know, like, it's been a few years. Like, do you think it's possible for me? I'm like, heck yeah, wait till you watch Vanessa's story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was starting to feel, I was like, am I just, like, I had like this vision of what I really wanted in a couple. And I was like, am I just being idealistic right now? Like, maybe it's just, you know, I think I've always knew I wanted this feeling, but I think in the program, I kind of like learned to let go and have fun and not really attach myself so much to it. So I think the fact that I wasn't so attached to that feeling kind of maybe opened up to meeting Massimo, but yeah, it is. I think we had, I had see, seen like an Instagram from you. I think that's what kind of made me contact you in 2021 is that you said like you knew when you met your, your, your current, your husband that, that you had that, that deep knowing. And I always knew that I was going to get that deep knowing too. I know it's not always the case for everyone, it's but it's not right. But it is sometimes, yeah, it is something, you know, so I was open to like, if I met someone and it wouldn't be, it was going to be okay. But I don't know. It just feels like meeting this person right now. It's, it's, it's exactly that, that knowing, you know, that, that, that feels just, just right and aligned. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. And can we just talk for a moment about how powerful it is when you're trying to undo patterns and like choose new ways to be surrounded by women who are like cheering you on and supporting you and saying, but Vanessa, like when you talked about this other person or something like I could hear in your voice, like so much hesitation, like this doesn't feel aligned for you. And like just like having all those mirrors of really wise, amazing women, right? Like there is discernment into who we let into the program because like it has to fit and it's kind of like putting the pieces of the puzzle together. But like there's something so powerful about having that support system that I think sometimes feels intimidating before you know what it's like. Totally. Mm -hmm. totally but it's it's been really from day one uh you know it's, it's my journey like the first month was like I don't want to go into the dating websites yet I don't feel ready you know mm -hmm. I took a week off and the girls mm -hmm. they support and then afterwards starting to go on those little dates like feeling like that you know yeah Vanessa in your voice I feel fear I feel like it's not right I feel and it was like and for me like that 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 intention of really meeting a partner where I could build my life with was so strong that I feel like whenever I wasn't making like I was encountering those blocks that I was getting the last eight years like those mirrors were mirroring back to me but that feels like a fear that feels like a fear response yeah. and I was able to quickly see it through Voxer like oh yes. yeah that is here okay I'm gonna be brave and like 
yes. make a decision to commit to myself. And like, I feel like because it's like so constant on a daily basis that you're always kind of like nurturing this dream. Whereas sometimes like I wanted to be in a partnership, but it, it would be mixed in with other things in my life. So it wouldn't have a full focus. Now it's like a full focus on it. So you see every little thing that, that you do on a, daily, on a daily basis. So it's kind of like peeling a an onion. You're like, oh yeah, that, that is something that I would always do. And the girls, like that support is just, it's just, it's priceless. It's, really it's priceless. priceless. And it's like, there's an immediate safety that's created because everyone's sharing vulnerably and like we're there for each other and there's no judgment. And it's like, let us just hold you in this. Like whether you just need a space to, to speak out your ideas or your feelings, or you want some advice or you want some coaching or you need to cry or you need to laugh about something. It's like, we're all just there. So like we're there with each other for six months. Like we're here together. Yeah, I find it, I find it such a special I find it to be such a special part. I'm really? curious, can you share with us a little bit, like how, how is this relationship different? And, and really more importantly, how are you different inside of this relationship than in the past? Well, I feel like it's a com the complete, it's the most different relationship I've ever been in. Um, I definitely feel, well, first of all, like there's that deep love and respect, but I feel like I attracted a partner who's doing conscious work on himself too so he's mm -hmm. also so I feel like there's there's a love like there's a self-love within myself and a self-love within him so I feel like decisions are a little bit more um like talk through instead of acting impulsively like before yeah. I think there's more of like a talk and communication um I feel like for myself anyways I feel like I'm um I'm giving myself, I think what I'm learning within myself is that learning to take space within a relationship, whereas it was something that I wouldn't do so much in the past. Like, I feel like I would really race myself to try. I felt like opening my wings would be dangerous for a relationship. So I would try to keep myself really small to make sure like everything works out. Like I felt like basically the survival of the relationship was only up to me. Yeah. And that made me work a lot, you know, work, 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 figure it out. And I think I feel like it was like a lot of pressure. And I feel like with this group, you're teaching us so much about like receiving and um, and it's a concept that I was kind of getting to realize myself, but I feel like we talk about it so much that I'm learning to, to, to receive, receive support, receive the fact that it's actually not in my, it's not in my hands to like this whole, the survival of the relationship is much bigger than me. So it's kind of like teaching me to lean into the vulnerability, lean into, well, be, be courageous and let yourself breathe. And like, so that, that, that implies me not knowing how the other person's going to react. That implies me knowing how it's scary. It's vulnerable. It's like, definitely like, oh my God, all those little fears come up. But in the same yeah, time, exactly. like, it's also like, I feel like I'm seeing that this is different for me and it's making me feel like there's possible to thrive, you know? It's like, okay, like I could, feel, and actually I, when I've been leaning back and letting myself get supported, I feel like I'm getting my answers from the universe. I'm getting, my boyfriend is, is responding to me like the way that I've probably amazing. always wanted. Yeah, amazingly, like things that I was really scared of to talk about. Like my femininity for me was always something like I'm very flashy, colorful, and it was something that I was always scared to show with men and and uh, I do this art myself that that um, I was always scared to do I was like well what if I don't know if my 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 my, my partner is going to be able to accept this for me I, uh, yeah. and you guys encouraged me to just be myself from day one and and it was something that was oh I, I wanted to keep I know <laughs> I'm like he can't see the side of myself because <laughs> I, I do burlesque to be honest I was like he can't see the side of myself oh my god what if like and finally you guys encouraged me to be myself and as soon as I allow myself to to be shown and he just responded like in the most amazing way like yeah I love you you're great and mm -hmm. I was like oh my god okay so being myself is safe so it's like you guys are encouraging me to kind of like let go and 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 receive and be myself and unravel my wings and mm. yeah so I feel like that's a long answer but I feel like it's it's like yeah it's teaching me to be vulnerable to to open up and to be myself and to feel safe doing it yeah I love it <laughs> and you know, like I I can often get a sense when like the women okay I want to say this 
with a light touch. Okay, so when the women come in and they meet someone, I can usually get a sense of like, this is this relationship is not really aligned, but it's going to teach them something, but it's not really aligned. And I, you know, like I'm guiding them, but they also have to have that experience. With you and Massimo, I mean, at the end of the day, there's there's all these other forces at play, but it definitely feels aligned. And like that, that I can feel that in the depth of me. Like I know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah is there hmm, where do I want to go next I think it's cool for the ladies watching and I know some of them like considering it but being scared like we already touched on the experience of being in a group is there anything else that you want to share about that or like even like what's your favorite part about the whole school of love inner circle experience oh there's so much Melissa's is big well first of all just having you as a coach, because I feel like you're actually a teacher who embodies what she teaches. And I feel like, look, having someone that embodies it makes you feel safe and you feel like you have someone to mirror, like, okay, yes, like I want to be in my queen self. I want to be in my, you know, calm, centered self. So you look, it's, it's, we look up to you. You know, I look up to you anyways. I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's, that's, that's kind of like <laughs> what I want to be into. So that's definitely fun to have you as a teacher. Um, Eleni is just so amazing too. She's so intuitive. Like mm. it feels like you guys each have like your own. We have different styles. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you guys complement each other, you know, like you, for instance, on Boxer, if I have like a, if I encounter like a blockage or a fear, you, you're going to give me your point of view and, and Eleni too. And I feel like it's so complete and it's just, it feels, it feels really great to get that. Um, I'm I like, I'm, I'm learning myself actually in the box. We have a Voxer group. So the Voxer group, I'm, I'm learning to actually allow myself to on, like, if I feel something to just, just say it, you know, in the beginning, I was a little bit scared. I was like, could I actually mm -hmm. share this on a day? Like as yeah. like, Eleni was so sweet. She was like, yes, be yourself, let yourself fully, you know, come in with all your space and, mm -hmm. and space and let yourself be supported. And I feel like that that experience has been really, really enriching. So if for instance, if I'm, I'm living like a fear or a panic, like I could actually just say it on the moment of, I'm like, okay, I'm going through this right now. I'm describing it as I'm feeling it this way. Like, cause I'm like, if I pass this afterwards, maybe I might not be able to like explain it as well, but I'm like, right now I'm feeling this and this and this. And you know, whenever you guys have time, you guys answer. And sometimes like, because I say it on the moment of, like you're able to kind of like see the facets of it and the depth yeah. of it. So we're able to like tackle it right away, which is really beneficial. And mm -hmm. honestly, the girls too, the whole group, like I feel like we just, there's like this synergy that's been building and it's and the days where you guys are not available, like on weekends or anything, like mm -hmm. it happened once where I needed like guidance or like an advice. And um, Elizabeth came in on the weekend or Dina, mm -hmm or mm -hmm. anybody else and it felt like that there's like a sisterhood like of non-judgment of feeling supported mm -hmm. and and same on my end too I just feel like I feel like it's so needed when you want to like break through things that kept you stuck you know so it's it's, it's just so, so powerful it's so powerful there's a couple things I want to say there so for anybody who doesn't know when Vanessa referred to Eleni Eleni is a support coach that we have for inner circle so she supports the group of women who are calling in love um and then there's a support coach for the next round for the women who are in relationship and what's really beautiful about like Eleni encouraging you to take space is like that's one of your specific growth edges right it's like taking space in a relationship mm -hmm. so then you get to practice what it's like to without shame or at least feel the shame but do it anyway or feel the discomfort and do it anyway come into the chat because we have Voxer if you don't know is like a it's an app on your phone it's free and that's where we can like chat either through text or voice and stay in touch daily if you need it some people are daily some people come in once in a while and like taking the space in there with us is like a form of practicing taking space in your relationship or for example like one of the clients I supported in the past she would speak really quickly and it was like her fear kind of, right? Like her lack, like her just not speaking from a space of alignment. So one of the things that we worked on inside of Voxer was like, speak more slowly, take your time. There's no rush. What do you want to say to me? Choose your words. So because she was able to practice there, then when, when, when she would meet a man, she was like more practiced at it because we were doing it together. It's true. 
it feels yeah. like that. It feels yeah. like that actually. It feels like it's it's a practice, like with you guys letting yourself be supported, taking yes. space. In a way, yeah, it is like a mirror to the relationship because you're like, let yourself be seen in what you're going through right now. Let yourself and and I'm learning, like, you know, in the past I had this limiting belief too that you had to be all healed before you meet your right partner. And mm -hmm. and in reality, like I think it's whatever it is that you work, I worked a lot on myself on my own. And I was like, yes, I, I have it all together now. And, and honestly, you don't really know until you're in a relationship. And I feel like whatever it is you work on, it, it's for yourself and it's great. But I mean, like when you're in a relationship, you're still going to have to like face those little things that you dealt with in the past, you know? And I think that's a scary part because the whole concept of being healed already before being in a relationship, it feels safe. But in reality, I'm learning that yeah like with my boyfriend to like when we, when I encounter little fears or anything like you guys whatever it is I practice letting myself be seen with you guys I'm you guys are encouraging me to bring that in my relationship too and it's just it's just been really rewarding like the, the his response too and, and it, it it goes to show that you don't have to have it all figured out like it's no it's, it's like it's through the whole life journey of it and letting exactly. yourself be held and feel like you're you're loved anyways it's that's yeah that's the beauty of it you know it's scary but it's, it's a beautiful journey <laughs> it's yeah. I'm sure in the long run I'll look back and I'll be like you know what well actually I'm, I have a funny story well not a funny story but like a, a, something I had realized because I was doing things a lot on my own in the last eight years like I was always like you know I don't want anybody to know too much about my journey like I want to like you know make sure that I go through this quickly as possible like sometimes a lot of people wouldn't know exactly what I would go through just because yeah. like I felt better to do it on my own this way I don't stress out anybody on the outside and um and I remember like a few years ago I was I felt like a little bit numb from from doing that and I went to a yoga retreat and there was this woman who had a lot of anxiety and we were doing so many activities but she kept being so herself like I feel scared oh my god I don't know if I could do this I don't know if... and we were always there supporting her and then I remember we did the zip lining exercise one day and she was just so scared she's like I don't know if I could do this and we all encouraged her and we're like you could do it you could do it and when she got to the end of the line of the zip line she was like I did it and we're all like you did it and I remember being there and I'm like oh my god do I want to go through life like people not knowing what I went through like just feeling like oh yeah I have it all together and it's great yeah. and I'm like in a way you kind of want to be witnessed you know in your journey yeah. and feeling like I did this and it's like and I was scared and I did it anyways. And you, the group is kind of that. I'm getting shivers as we're saying it. <laughs> I'm like, that's what it is. It's like, you're like, you don't have to have it all together. You're like, I am freaking out. I don't know if I could do this. And you're like, you could do it, you could do it. And it's like, and it's like, in the end you get to the, and like, that's life, you know, like you don't want to do it all alone. You want to feel like you have a group of people and, and that's what Voxer is. And, and it's, that's what's teaching me that I want in a relationship too. I don't want to go through life. Um, feeling like nobody witnessed my journey you know so that's so beautiful <laughs> thanks there's one question I want to ask you because I know it comes up like so in the group one concern is but like will my specific needs be met how do you feel about that like how would you answer that like someone like do you feel uniquely supported even inside of a group oh my god totally and it's, I remember feeling that even again, for me, it's taking up the space. Like I remember, I think our yeah. first meeting, I was one of the first ones to talk a lot, like I think in our first mm -hmm. group. And I was like, I, I want to be sure that I'm not taking anybody's space. And you were like, Vanessa, like you have, like, I think you have this innate faith of like how every meeting is going to like turn up. Like you don't have to like plan it all. And like, there's going to be one day where that person's going to need more time and that person. So I feel like that's kind of like what's been happening. Like I felt like in the beginning, I was like, I was so ready for this journey. Like <laughs> as much as I feared it, I was like, I don't know if I could commit to this six months. I was like the most ready one. And I'm like, I am so ready for this. <laughs> I, took, I, took the, I took the space a lot to talk and you guys were like, yeah, just take the space and talk. And I, and at some point, like you realize some meetings, it was other girls that needed that, that, that had more time. And it's just, I feel like everyone is getting their time equally, but naturally without planning it so much, you know? So I feel like there's like this unique support that's being done organically without it being planned, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> beautiful thank you thank you how do you feel about six months now like we're almost at the six so what are we now we are february 
4th. Yeah. And we wrap up April 13th. How do you feel about like the time that's passed? Does it feel long? Does it feel short? It feels short. <laughs> right? It feels like we started yesterday. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. It feels like it was just yesterday and it's just, it gets, I get so excited, you know, I'm like, when's the next one? When are we meeting? Like, I, I was the one who was most scared of that. I was like, oh my God, I, I don't think I'll be able to take lunch breaks of like two hours every two weeks. I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'll be able to be on Voxer that much. Like those were like my concerns. And then I'm like, no, I'm like excited for them now. I'm like, oh my God, like, it's just, I feel like it's been passing so fast and, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it passes really fast. <laughs> um, that's why I'm like six months is like, it sounds long, but it like, it's, it's like the perfect amount of time. It really is. It yeah. really, really is. And I understand now, like, I remember when I first contacted you, you were like, I don't do just like, it, for me, it's like, I like to go deep and, and you know what? I see it because it's like, it's in your everyday life when you really focus on something like love especially you know like I've seen there like I've, I've been in therapy before where you just you talk about different things and love takes a little part but it's like yeah. it's mind, it, it goes everywhere whereas now it's, this is the main focus on love and and you know what in the same time like I feel like when you tackle that I think my friend Liana uh who actually that's how I met you <laughs> <laughs> Liana has actually told me this really cute quote right before signing and she was actually uh, someone who encouraged me to take your program too and she had told me She's like, when you work on this aspect of your life, because I was worried because I was like, I have other aspects of my life too. Sometimes right. like, always. Right. Yeah. I'm like just focusing on love. Am I going to like, you know, what if like that money should go towards like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like something else. And she was actually telling me, she was like, it's kind of like your life is like a spider web. She's like, when you, fo even if it's just focusing on love, it has an impact on like every sphere of your life. Mm -hmm. and, and it's true. Like I've like, as much as like, we're focusing on love like I'm seeing aspects of this journey that transpires to other aspects of my life too you know so I don't know how what my life is going to look like in a few months but I know that it definitely has an impact on that too you know it absolutely does especially because we are like touching like okay like what does your inner child need and like there's so much healing and there's so much growth and there's like really coming into the core of like feeling worthy and who's your empowered self and so when you get to know her right like she's the one who makes decisions and you align with her it's like you're moving in the direction of like what your highest self really wants for your whole life totally I love it you're making me think of like a term I want to use now like intentional attention right just like it's not it's not an obsession it's just an intentional amount of focus on an area that you feel like expanding in and when I really think about the biggest expansions in my life it's always been because I've been intentional about giving it attention mm -hmm. rather than like I really want to fix my love life or I really want to fix this or whatever and it's like it's always following you yeah and you might obsess you're either obsessing about it or avoiding it but what about like a beautiful middle yeah and I feel like it's like sometimes that that attention wasn't fully there like I would talk about it a little bit in therapy but we never went like deep into it you know what I mean like it would be yeah, it's great. But then at the same time, like in a session, you would talk about other things, you know, so it wouldn't exactly. actually be all about love. And I felt, I think for me right now, my love life was the thing I needed the most attention because I was really not feeling, I, I, I was really not feeling satisfied anymore. So I was like, okay, I think this is the part that's screaming the most right now. So this is the part yeah. that, 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 that needs most expansion and, 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 you know, and attention. So. And I'm so glad you took that leap of faith. I'm so happy too. <laughs> I'm really, really happy. Honestly, wow. If I could talk to myself like six months ago, I'd be girl, don't, don't be scared. Just right. <laughs> like yeah. it's an amazing thing. Like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you. I it's like when I say like I'm really pouring my life's work into this program, it's like I mean it. <laughs> Uh, 100%. I mean it. I mean it. <laughs> You've already shared so much. If there's if there's anything you want to add, the space is yours. And I'm just so grateful uh, for you and just like your desire to 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 share and your willingness to share. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me this space and and honestly for this program and the whole group. I'm just I'm just so grateful. Honestly, I'm really, really grateful. And it's just 
it's teaching me that you know life really wants you to have like that that amazingness that you believe in you know it's just you have to like and I feel like when you make aligned decisions that are for that highest good it's like you're gonna feel you're gonna get that support like if it's money you're scared of it's like life life's got you you know mm-hmm. and it's and feeling that level of happiness that I'm feeling in my relationship that I know if I would have met him maybe a few months before yeah. I maybe wouldn't have been as receptive to it you know what I mean to that love I would have been maybe more scared or like the fears mm-hmm. maybe what I might have taken over whereas mm-hmm. I feel like meeting my boyfriend now I, I feel like anyone everyone's journey is going to be different like I felt like like for me I felt like I needed to meet him at the beginning of this this journey this the soul journey because um I feel like for me it was like in in the relationship that I needed like the work you know like the, the to see like the little daily things I would oh my god is this fear is this like and I feel like the fe- the feeling of the support and making like and for me it's taking that space in a relationship which is yeah. something I think if I would have not been in a relationship right now we wouldn't have been able to see as much because in the dating sure. world you don't see it as much yeah so um so I feel like you know I think everyone's journey is going to happen at the right time and I feel like yeah. for me it happened at the right time uh meeting Massimo and being in the soul group so yeah I just feel like you have to just trust yourself but also just believe that whatever it is that you really want is out there for you and just like give yourself that love and that permission to get the support you need for for you to get that so thank you thank you so so much I love you I love you too (laughs) if you guys watching I know some of you will watch it later if you have any questions for Vanessa about her experience you would just tag her if you have questions for me what I'll do is I'll pop in the link here for where you can express your interest if this is something that you feel pulled to um, if you resonate with Vanessa's story so again there are two groups there's a group for women who are calling in love, which you can see for Vanessa is the case, um, and a group for women who are in their relationships already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll say bye to, to the group, but you can stay online. Oh. Bye. <laughs> bye.